Yeah, D.B. Look, Mr. Cannell, I just can't afford to be without work right now, not even for a day. I've got a mother and two kid sisters. More good luck telegrams. Well, you know how it is. I, I've just got to keep on working, see? Sorry, sister. I was sent down here to clean house. I told you I can't use your column anymore. It's lavender and no lace. Send those other people in. I'll tell you what I'll do. I, I get $30 a week. I'll take 25 20 if necessary. I'll do anything you say. It isn't the money. We're after circulation. What we need is fireworks. People have been hit with sledgehammers. Start arguments. Oh, I can do that. I know this town inside out. Oh, give me a chance, All please. right, come in, come in, come in. A couple of sticks shy in her collar, man. Big rich slob like D.B. Norton buys a paper and 40 heads are chopped off. Did you get it, too? Yeah. You, too? Oh, Joe. Oh, I'm sorry, darling. Why don't we tear the building down? Before you do, Ann, perhaps you'd better finish this collar. Yeah, lavender and old lace. Wait, Joe. Wait. Wants fireworks, huh? Okay. Here. Below is a letter which reached my desk this morning. It's a commentary on what we laughingly call a civilized world. Dear Miss Mitchell, four years ago, I was fired out of my job. Since then, I haven't been able to get another one. At first, I was sore at the state administration because it's on account of the slimy politics here. We have all this unemployment. But in looking around, it seems the whole world's going to pot. So in protest, I'm going to commit suicide by jumping off the city hall roof. Signed, a disgusted American citizen, John Doe. Editor's note, if you ask this column, the wrong people are jumping off the roofs. Hey, Ann, this is the old fake isn't it? Never mind that, Joe. Go ahead. <laughs> 